Now that we have strips of paper and a template for the size, we can start forming our letters. So I've already been playing around and I made an H. The H took me two pieces of two strips of paper and I used a little glue to attach them and make sure they would stand up. So right now it looks a little odd, but that's okay. I made an O also with two strips of paper and you see I'm using my template. So I want the letters to be the height. I also made an A. And I'm just about ready to make an X. So problem solving is definitely part of this activity. So I'm going to move my template out of the way. So I tried an X um, using, I cut a strip here and cut a slit here, and I tried putting it together and it held, but it wouldn't stand up. So I decided what I'm gonna do is take four strips of paper and hopefully this will work. I'm gonna fold each of them in half. So there's one, two, three, It really doesn't matter if they're perfect or not because I know I'm going to have to cut them down. And four. Okay. So my theory is that I'm going to take and glue the sides together like so until I make my X. And being that the papers are doubled, it ought to be able to stand up. Of course, they aren't glued together yet. And of course, this will be way taller than my template. So I'm gonna glue very quickly, just to show you some of my own personal problem solving. So I'm taking a glue stick and it's just lightweight paper, so I don't need a lot. But I'm gonna glue that down. Hold, glue another strip. Fold. I'm going to glue another strip. And then for my last one, I'm actually going to glue these two together. So, put my glue. And again, I know I'm going to have to cut these. This is going to be way taller than my template. Okay. So now, in theory, hopefully this will work, I have. I have to kind of redo my folds along the way. I did this on each of my letters. Okay, so now I've got something that I can make an X from. So I want to do, I don't want it too wide because then it would, you know, take up most of my paper. So I want it kind of narrow and tall. So what I think I'm going to do is cut all four the same. So that looks about right. So I'm going to start by making one cut and then I can take that and make all of my cuts the same height or length. Okay, now I can go back to my template move those extra pieces out of the way. I can go back to my template so that I know I'm doing this the right height. And I may have to adjust it because if I go too wide, then it's too short. So I didn't want it too wide anyway. And I'm gonna have to play with my folds, but I think it's gonna work. And voila, I have my X. Just have to play with it a little bit to make it how I want it. And that's pretty much it. And there's my X. So you do have to kind of play around and really think about how to make these letters stand up. Um, on my H, I have two sheets of paper and I folded the paper here and here, both times. And then I glued in the center and then glued the strips along the edges. And I put double here, double here so that it would help make it stand up. So you really have to use that critical thinking to figure out how you're going to make it stand. Good luck.